So this is the thoracic whip technique. With this technique, you are trying to teach the patient how to do a self-thrust manipulation. Now, a chair without a back, but that has stable support is preferred, but sometimes you just don't have that luxury. So if you turn the chair somewhat sideways, so you're more at an angle, you'll ask the person to take their hands and just clutch them like this and put them against their stomach, and then just kind of test the rotation of that area as they move their hands. And you'll see that I'm not just bending my elbows, I'm actually bringing my arms up to keep them parallel to the ground. But once I find a spot that kind of locks in, that's where I want to target. So I'll start off with just kind of a gentle rocking back and forth, and then progress to thrusts. Usually about three to five are good enough to loosen the area. The person can just wiggle out a little bit and then go back and retest and see if they feel like they've got more mobility or if maybe one more round would be beneficial. If it needs to be bilaterally done, you just ask them to switch and everything else is the same.